More than 33 F-16s have appeared in the EU, which can be transferred to Ukraine. For example, Greece, which is currently implementing a large-scale program to modernize its air force fleet may transfer to Ukraine. As part of the modernization program, it is planned to decommission 108 fighters and prepare them for sale, including 32F-16C-D Block 30 fighters according to Greek media, the transfer of 32F-16C-D Block 30 to Ukraine is considered almost inevitable. It is noted that during their service, fighters of this type have undergone two modernizations and today, on average, they have used up about 60% of their service life. So, Greece is undertaking a substantial transformation of its air force, planning to decommission and sell parts of its diverse fleet, including F-16 and Mirage 2000 fighter jets, as part of its efforts to modernize and streamline military capabilities for the 21st century. According to the Warzone, the Block 30 F-16s include 34 single-seat F-16C and 6 F-16D variants. Those aircraft were procured under the Peace Xenia I foreign military sales program and delivered between 1988 and 1990. It was previously suggested those aircraft could be used as aggressors for air defense training, but it now seems more likely that Athens will seek a foreign buyer. The aircraft might not have to fly far, Ukraine was quickly named as a potential destination. F-16, no silver bullet for Ukraine against Russia, NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg. F-16, fighter jets would not serve as a silver bullet for the Ukrainian armed forces amidst the ongoing conflict with Russia, cautioned NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg. The swift delivery of these fighter jets to Ukraine would serve as an example of significant military support for Ukraine from NATO, Stoltenberg said. NATO allies providing Ukraine with F-16 fighters, sending weapons for those planes and training pilots is a very important example of the alliance's military assistance to Ukraine, he said. However, no single system can change the situation on the battlefield alone. F-16s are not a silver bullet that will determine the course of the war. F-16s are important for Ukraine as they will increase its capabilities on the battlefield, Stoltenberg said. He expressed appreciation for Ukraine's allies' dedicated efforts in facilitating these deliveries and providing training for pilots and technical personnel involved with the F-16s. UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak announced that his country, along with the United United States, the Netherlands, Belgium and Denmark had agreed to participate in training Ukrainian pilots on Western fighter jets on May the 19th, 2023. Romanian officials said on July the 6th, 2023, they were opening a regional training center for F-16 fighter pilots, which would be available to its allies and partners, including Ukraine. According to media reports, the first F-16s will appear in Ukrainian skies around June 2024. The Belgian government recently approved the allocation of its 25th aid package for Ukraine, which includes funding for the maintenance of F-16 fighter jets. Denmark and the Netherlands were the first countries to pledge to send F-16 fighter jets to Ukraine, but said this would happen after the Ukrainian pilots had completed their training. Vote on aid to Ukraine in US Congress may be postponed for several weeks. The House of Representatives' vote on aid to Ukraine is unlikely to happen until at least mid-April and possibly later as Speaker Mike Johnson is still seeking ways to soften opposition from radical Republicans. Bloomberg reported this, citing the leader of the Republican Party in the House of Representatives. They say that Johnson's team has not shared a detailed plan regarding the aid package with Republican lawmakers and it seems undecided on the actions he will insist on from President Joe Biden's administration, making it difficult for him to secure support in time for a vote next week. Johnson's spokeswoman, Taylor Halsey, stated that the Speaker's promise of swift action did not intend to establish a specific deadline and that Johnson was sounding out members. Regarding the plan, she did not provide further information on the Speaker's consultations. Two representatives of the Republican leadership stated that there is still a possibility that Johnson could decide regarding the Ukraine aid plan over the weekend and expedite the project's approval next week. However, Bloomberg notes that such an accelerated schedule could lead 
lead to the bill's failure and further confrontation with hardline supporters within the Republican Party. Recently, the administration of the U.S. president refused to accede to the proposal of the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Mike Johnson, to provide aid to Ukraine if the president reverses his decision to suspend the issuance of new licenses for liquefied natural gas exports. The U.S. Congress's approval of over 60 billion U.S. dollars in aid to Ukraine is currently being blocked by Republicans in the House of Representatives. The White House has repeatedly cautioned that this would significantly harm Ukraine's military efforts on the battlefield.